All right, in this lecture, we're going to learn about regular expressions. Uh, regular expressions are basically uh, sophisticated pattern matching tools uh, or strings that utilize these things called meta characters, which we'll learn about, uh, that we use them in, in several applications in the Unix operating system. Uh, most of these we haven't got to yet, but we will learn them very soon. Grep, set, awk, vi, emacs. Uh, the very next lecture will be on grep. So basically, uh, meta characters are special characters that have special meaning in pattern matching. And um, the asterisk here is the first one. Uh, th this one is probably the hardest one of the bunch to get used to because it doesn't really have anything to do with uh, the regular wild card uh, that we're used to. Uh, it actually matches zero or more occurrences of the previous character. So, you know, here's an example. Uh, if we had G asterisk, then that would match nothing, or G, or GG, or GGG, etc. So if we wanted to match a single character G, then we would need to use um, this, which GG star, which would then match G, GG, GGG, etc. Um, so then we have the period, which is, matches any single character. So period asterisk would match nothing or any number of characters. Um, <coughs> Then we have uh, classes. So classes always occur inside of braces here. Uh, so if we have a, a brace, uh, and then inside the brace we have A, B, or C, A, B, C, that would match any A, B, or C, okay? Um, we can use a, a, a hyphen to indicate a range. So one to three would be the range, uh, any, any digit uh, in that range between one and three. Um, if we use a caret symbol or, you know, the hat symbol inside of a class, braces, then that negates uh, the action. So in this case, uh, hat capital Z would, would select any character except capital Z. Um, then we can uh, use this, uh, you know, also combined with ranges and other things. So we could say uh, caret A to Z would say would select any non-alphabetic lowercase letter, and then, then when we add in the, the capital A to Z, this would basically uh, consume all of the alphabetic characters, and since we're negating that, then uh, what, we'd, what we this pattern would match would be any non-alphabetic character. So uh, it's a little bit, again, confusing here because the caret inside of a class bracket uh, is a negate symbol. However, a caret outside of the class bracket indicates the beginning of a line. So if we wanted to search for dm that occurs at the beginning of the line, then we would use caret dm. Okay? That's a little bit confusing, but uh, that's just the way it is. It has a different meaning there. Uh, the dollar symbol in, uh, is actually the, the, means the end of the line. So if we wanted to search for bash, that occurs at the end of the line, then we would look like, use this pattern. Okay, there's also, also uh, interval expressions. So uh, in this case, we have to use the braces. And again, uh, kind of like when we use parentheses and find, we have to escape them. So the syntax is a little bit clunky, but we have, you know, the, the uh, forward slash brace M forward slash close brace. Uh, that would give us m occurrences of the previous character. <clears throat> so if we, as an example of that, if we look here, we're going to use the, the, the caret or the hat symbol means the beginning of the line. The dot means any single character. So uh, in this case, it, the, the 9 would basically skip the first 9 characters, you know, because they can be anything. Uh, at the beginning of the line, and then after that we would search for nobody, uh, which is the, the, the keyword here. So uh, that's how that worked. Um, if, we put, uh, if we put a comma after the M, then that means that uh, it, this interval expression means at least M occurrences of the previous character. And then uh, this is a, when you put an a, a N after that, then it's kind of ends up like a min max. So between a minimum of m and a maximum of n occurrences of the previous character. Um, 
so if you want to search on a meta character, you know, like dot or star, these have special meanings and patterns, but perhaps you want to actually search for something, then, then you need to escape it. So we use the slash uh, to escape a meta character. Um, <clears throat> So uh, slash dot nine would find all occurrences of dot nine. So these are you know some really basic regular expressions. Um, I find the best way to learn these is through examples and on the fly. And we're going to be doing quite a bit of those as we learn these other tools, grep, vi, emacs. So I'm not actually going to give any examples here. I just wanted to uh, provide a reference for uh, that you can refer back to to give you some kind of general instruction about what meta characters are and, and what the regular how regular expression patterns are used. Uh, we'll get a lot of practice uh, as we move on and learn grep, vi, sed, these things.